Ryan Kaczynski. A couple of years ago, I created this place called The Bakery. I needed to create a place that I could basically ride 24-7, 365. I found this building on the south side of Chicago that was in an old bread factory that actually would be perfect for what I wanted to create. Unfortunately, all good things come to an end and we were basically court ordered out of the bread factory. My good friend Joey Cacciatore has this building called Lacuna Artist Lofts and it's basically another old factory just a little more refined than the old bread factory. So with a lot of help from my friends, the local Chicago Riders and Aaron Bostrom, the new bakery was created and I, I couldn't be more proud of it. I'm super psyched for this because Corey was the first person to ever visit the original bakery. So now, I'm, now like over two years later, I'm reliving that because Corey's on his way here and it's his first time checking out the new bakery. To be honest, the thing I look forward to most is just coming to hang out with Brian and everyone else that I ride with up here. It's always a good time. And I know if I'm, you know, in Brian's hands, he's gonna take good care of me. I was on a trip, actually filming for a Red Bull project in San Diego, and um, got it stuck trying a trick, ended up falling kind of sideways, landing weird, and hurt my shoulder. From that, I waited six weeks to go in to the doctor to get it looked at. After meeting up with the doctor, he ended up telling me the results in the MRI were torn labor. Oh my gosh. Did you just go back in right there? I don't know. Um, so from that point on, I told him to, yeah, schedule me surgery ASAP. After that, I've just been slowly kind of trying to get back in the swing of things. Yeah, straight back into it, I guess. Man, getting a chance to meet all these guys, you know, that put in the work behind the scenes to make all the bakery edits is awesome. To hang out and to get to know them, but also knowing, you know, these people that are involved in it ride and they shred and they're they're in it, you know, they're involved for the right reasons. It's awesome to see that and, and be a part of that too. Right away, Brian hooked up a session at Lacuna Fitness. Chris Spurlock is an absolute beast, uh, but he's kind of a gentle giant. He's really, really in tune with what needs to be done in order to prevent injury. I just want to be able to ride my bike more and want to be able to take a slam if I need to and get back up and be all right. Yeah, that's the dope thing about Chicago. Some spots get torn down, which is a bummer, but new spots pop up all the time. I feel like it's a good size to kind of see where I'm at in the game again. I'll try this side now. Donna Williams is an absolute saint. Donna has always been amazing because I would forward her videos and stuff like that. Look, this is this is what I do on a bike. You know, I'm not just trying to like ride down the street. She was always really in tune with what I wanted to do and what I did, and so she would go out of her way to create exercises and rehabilitation stuff that would get me back on my bike faster. What is the most difficult thing for you to do? It's what you call a bunny hop. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Once you're up and you level out the bike, okay. it, it's no, it's it's that motion. Oh, the push. Yeah. Like, Meeting with Donna was amazing. She's, like I said, she's really awesome and passionate about what she does. And she was able to show me a lot of different exercises that uh, my previous, you know, physical therapist didn't really show me. It doesn't hurt to meet with, you know, other people that might have more knowledge on different things. Corey just being the pro that he is, step by step, and then by the end, ended up doing some crazy stuff. my last day here and uh, I feel like I've been beat up, but in a good way. So I, I can't remember the last time I've been this sore, but I, it's a good sore. I'm definitely psyched on it and appreciative of it. One of my goals of the bakery from the start was to progress BMX and that doesn't necessarily always mean progress it like the craziest new tricks happen. I look at like Corey's situation and just the fact that he's only at 75% and the fact that he's trying to get back on his bike 
Corey has progressed BMX so far just over the last 10 years that I'm really proud that he can come here and progress himself and get himself back up to speed to uh, push BMX further and further like he will in the future. So I'm just really glad the bakery could help him out with that and that I could help him out with that as a friend and we had, we had fun doing it.